All out search in the road today for a two foot tall, eight week old fugitive kangaroo. Cairo 7 North Sound reporter Ryan Sims was on hand for the whole thing today. And Ryan, we are 8,100 miles away and an ocean away from Australia. Why is a kangaroo in the middle of Monroe? Uh, they're not exactly native here to the North Sound, are they, Dave? Uh, here's the thing. This kangaroo was adopted from a kangaroo sanctuary only yesterday. That sanctuary is just a few miles away from here. Yet this morning, during an early morning potty break here in the Monroe area, it went hopping away. So there's a kangaroo. It is fitting when you think about it. Here we have a creature from the outback, literally found out back at Annalisa Karanimi's home. I, I don't know. I was just like, what in the world? Anyway, I kind of yelled, like, it's right here, because I knew they were looking, so I wanted to get their attention. A kangaroo conundrum then unfolded here at Annalisa's carport. And I was like, I should probably go inside before we scare the, the kangaroo more, because they said kangaroos can die under too much stress. This little guy, understandably only eight weeks old, he wasn't holding up well, shivering and cowering in the corner. I've been here looking for him all day. As animal control officers tried to coax this kangaroo out of here, his owner going? was in tears. I've had the whole town of Monroe looking for him. Police tell us this kangaroo came from a nearby sanctuary in Arlington. He was picked up only yesterday, and already you could say that he decided to bounce. My rail was on the loose. I called 911. It looked scared, just like lost and just, I don't know, just sitting there in its little safe, safe place. It took animal workers nearly a half hour to capture this little guy. He was just so scared. Tonight he's being examined at the vet's office after literally a hopping time here in Monroe. And this is the incredible part. This is not the first time Cairo 7 has even covered a story like this. It happened a few years ago. We'll re-examine last time there was Australian animal drama here in the North Sound coming up at 6 o'clock. We're live in Monroe tonight. Ryan Sims, Cairo 7 News. Talk about a kangaroo caper. I kid you not. <laughs> All right, a project two years in the making. The new Lander Street Bridge opens tomorrow morning.